Lee Auto sales fell 39% sequentially last quarter. The company's explanation for that raises more questions than it answers. Investors in Chinese automaker Li Auto, LI, 3.5%, are having a rough month of May. After reporting a decline in sales Monday, which sent its shares tumbling double digits, the company announced Tuesday that it will delay releasing new all-electric SUV models until 2025. Shares of Li Auto stock reacted poorly to the news, falling 3.6% through 10 a.m. ET. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Lee's latest bad news. A lack of electric chargers appears to be, at least, one culprit for Lee's latest bad news. As Reuters reports, Lee planned to unveil three new all-electric SUV models this year. To date, Lee has been primarily a hybrid electric car maker. But Lee says it lacks enough charging stations and enough incremental display spots in our retail shops to support demand for the new models and will delay production until they're built. But here's the thing, if we read between the lines, Lee seemed to offer this explanation for postponing the new models as also explaining poor sales of its mega electric minivan. Introduced in March, Lee had hoped to sell 8,000 units of mega per month, but it's so far selling closer to 3,000. Is Lee auto stock a sell? Now this argument isn't wholly without merit. As Reuters observes, Lee's only built about 400 charging stations in China so far versus Tesla's, TSLA 6.66% 2000 and NEO's NEO 0.57% 2200. But consider this, in theory, all electric cars in China are supposed to be able to use GBT chargers interchangeably. In other words, they're not supposed to have to worry about the NX CCS issue that still bifurcates the charging system in the US. In this case, Li's 400 chargers shouldn't be an issue if Li buyers can just charge at one of Tesla's or Neo's, but that doesn't seem to be helping Li or preventing its sales from falling 39% sequentially last quarter. Not a great look for a growth stock. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.